Hey everyone, welcome. Uh, John and Shanna here uh, with the Carm Real Estate Team, and we are here to bring you today a story about Goldilocks and the no Bend, Oregon, and the Three Bears. Okay. Stay tuned. Now, once there was a city named Bend, and the people that lived there loved it very much, but others were curious: Was Bend too small, too big, or just right? Of course, this is all just a matter of opinion, and you'll get to make up your opinion later or now or whenever, but for now, we're just going to stick with the facts, okay? The city of Bend's population is currently 105,418 people, give or take, whatever. The surrounding metro area is right around 200,000. The population is up about 37% from the last census in 2010, and we're growing at about 3.86% annually as far as population growth. But it feels way more than that, and it's projected to keep growing even faster. So what does 100,000 people look like? Well, if you're from Oregon, you're probably familiar with other towns like Hillsboro or Beaverton or Gresham. Mm -hmm. Those cities all have around 100,000 people as well. So I know those areas, and mm -hmm. that seems a bit crowded, more like a big city. Wouldn't you say that's too big? <laughs> yes and no. See, those are basically suburbs of Portland. You know, they're, they're suburbs that bleed, you know, suburbs bleed into suburbs and it's just kind of urban sprawl all over the place until you get to Portland and everything's kind of overcrowded and covered with concrete and buildings everywhere. If you're looking at a map, Bend is in the very center of the state, bordered on the west by the Cascade Mountains and on the east by the high desert. There are other cities in Central Oregon, such as Sisters, Redmond, Primeville, and Lapine, but they're basically suburbs of Bend. So we are the big city. Well, then comes the question, is it too small then? I would say that we do have all the basic necessities of a larger town. So you have the Super Walmart, the Target, but you have those niche stores that you find in larger, more metro areas, such mm -hmm. as like Orange Theory, mm -hmm. Ulta, REI, and Whole Foods. We really do have everything we need. We also have a diverse job economy with tech jobs uh, being actually one of the fastest growing sectors in Central Oregon. In tandem with tech jobs, we also have one of the largest populations of people who work from home. Between 12 and 15 percent of people here in Central Oregon, or I should say in Bend, actually work from home. Now sometimes they're working from home with businesses in town, but sometimes they're also working from home a lot of times from other companies spread out across the country because they can. And those numbers are pre-COVID, so now you know, we're all working from home. <laughs> All right, so where is Bend headed? Well, Central Oregon did rank number one in GDP growth in the nation in 2019. So I would say that we are growing in population, popularity, and in our economics. Yep. So in our opinion, Bend is just right. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our next video coming up. And uh, if you don't ever want to miss any of our videos, you can go ahead and subscribe. Click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to like the video. It's a thumbs up. It's down there somewhere. I think it's down over there. Yeah. Just thumbs up. Just thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you next time.